I remember. They dragged me back. They paraded me through the square. But I was not afraid. I was not afraid because I knew. I know you know the truth, Claude. You dream with your eyes open, Angelique. Ease your soul. Confess your sins. Why will you not speak to me, my child? Angelique, they will not stop the torture until you confess. I know. I've heard. All over New France, they're talking of you now. You will die. It doesn't matter if you did this or not. Confess, and the end will come quickly. Oh, in manus to us, Domine, commendo spiritum filiae tuae angelicae. In nomine patris et filiae spiritus sancti. In manus to us, Domine, domendo spiritum filiae tuae angelicae. Amen. Am I to assume, Monsieur Thibault, that your traveling such a great distance means you are receptive to my offer? We did not include the particulars of our arrangement, Madame de Francheville. Indeed. Please address me as Madame de Quang. I have not used that name since my husband's death. How is it that an artist as gifted as yourself and so glowingly admired by all the prominent circles in Montreal has not been swept away to Europe? Well, there's not much to say. Many people talk and flatter, but uh, what use is this? I am a very big fish in a small, shallow pond. Claude. The simple right of the freedom to speak. We have established no change to our system of government that could possibly provide us autonomy from France or a just egalitarian society. Things are more dire this year than they were 20 years ago. Monsieur Thibault, perhaps it is best that you do remain in Montreal. I fear if you were to return to Paris with such passionate convictions, you might lose your head within a fortnight. Where will you be lodging until you return to Quebec? Close to the docks. I insist you stay here. Angelique will make your room. Uh, you're very kind, but Not I think... Not another word. If you are to stay here six months, what harm could one more night do? <laughs> How could I refuse? Good. Let's toast. You need some more wine, monsieur. Uh, oh, beg your pardon. More wine. No, uh, thank you. I'm perfectly all right. A table must always have wine. Angelique, fetch another bottle from the cellar. It was the last bottle, madame. It is your responsibility to ensure the cellar is full. Beg your pardon, madame, but we already spoke. Cake, perhaps. I'm sorry, monsieur. Oh, there's no need. Finish your work. There'll be no light in here. The window faces south, monsieur. And all day long the sun shines in. You know about this attic? I... I come here to sit. To sit? To think. What of? things. Angelique. Yes, monsieur? Your name for the angels. May I ask you a question, monsieur? Of course. Do you draw things you dream, or do you draw what you see? What an unusual question. <laughs> of course, we can only draw what we see. But what I see becomes a part of my dreams. 
I don't think I was meant to dream. Oh, every soul was meant to. I'm not a slave. Monsieur Thibault, Angélique. Have you seen Monsieur Thibault? No, Madame, I have not. How long have you been with us, Angélique? Nine years, Madame. Nine years. And we have treated you well. I fear, Angelique, I might not be able to keep this house much longer. Madame? I believe, Angelique, you know of what I speak. We're running out of money. Monsieur de Francheville had debts when he died. The creditors are coming, they want their money. I have nothing left to sell. I give them things. I understand, madame. I've seen the men come and go. Come and go. If I could, I would help, madame. You are like family, Ajadik. Yes, of course, madame. I have entered into an arrangement with madame Gamelin, which you must carry out. Yes, madame. She is of the opinion that you would be an excellent companion for her prize slave, servant. Jacques is his name, I believe. He is strong and healthy. Angelique, I want you to bear children for me, for us, for you. Negro babies fetch good money on the market these days. Your hair looks so beautiful in this light. You must have had so many models more beautiful than I. I would not say more beautiful. Uh, <clears throat> more still, perhaps. Like the mistress? Yes, <laughs> like her. Madame de Coang can remain motionless for hours. Sometimes I adjust her position just to see if she's alive or not. <laughs> boring to paint her. Her soul is withered. She's become so ugly. I feel sorry for her. She keeps on spending money and where it's coming from, I don't know. Mm. People like Madame de Coueng don't always tell the truth, Angelique. She's never lied to me. They lie to themselves. That's how they can keep slaves. To live in truth has got to be the most important thing in the world. How can we achieve what God has intended for us without truth? How can you, Angelique, live your life in this one lie that you maintain? That you're... you're only a slave. And that you'll never be free. You can escape. We can both escape. You simply have to dream. Claude. Tell me our dream again. <laughs> our dream? Angelique, we escape this place and you become my muse, my subject. Beauty will be displayed in the great palaces of the world. And I, we, 
will redefine what people see as beauty through our love. I will be famous and we will be free. Angelique, why would you do such a thing? Your master's house is lost. You've burned the entire city down. Do you know the suffering you've caused? Your mistress, she's out on the street, completely mad. She has nothing left. And yet you won't repent. How many times must I return before you confess? She's on the street? Yes, out on the street. And she has sworn that you set the fire. You were in the room last. It wasn't me. He's here. Madame? Your lover. Prepare yourself. Now? Yes. I can't. You're frightened, Angelique. I was frightened too the first time I lay with Antoine. There's nothing to worry about. I'm not frightened. It's not right. I won't do it. You have agreed to this. Why are you saying this now? What has changed? You want me to sell my body. My soul. This is not you talking. Who has given you these ideas? No one. You're lying. You know what happens when you lie to me. Claude told me. Claude! Monsieur Thibault! You have spoken to Monsieur Thibault about this? Are you. You little nigger whore! He's ruined you! Oh, how dare you! You would hit your mistress! You dare hit your mistress! Take her now! Angelique. It's me, Claude. Claude. Why do you tell me? I've been waiting for you. I haven't confessed. They do things to make me speak. I kept on repeating to myself. Claude wouldn't want me to tell the truth. They're coming back. Claude. It's not possible. What's not possible? The soldiers are everywhere. Do you understand me, Rosalie? I tried. 
But there's no time. Why won't you save me? I can't. Then die with me. I'm sorry. I'm just so afraid. I'm so afraid. You have to confess, Angelique. It's the only way. I didn't do this. I couldn't stop the fire. I couldn't stop it even if I wanted to. You had me confess? You told me to believe in myself. I was wrong. Life doesn't work like that. Look at me now. Look at me, Claude. They're going to kill me. I'm so sorry. I love you. Go. Please go, Claude. Oh, no, Angelique. I... I... <laughs> What do you want, Angelique? I want to die. I know who you are. Show me your face. That I may know who's taking my life. How can you take my life? You're like me. You're a slave. Why? It makes no difference. In my work, all men are created equal. No, not all. Not a slave. Oh God, half my life was chosen for me, the other half I did not choose. No one will know the truth, except for you, God. accuse me of burning half the city of Montreal. Sometimes I wish I had. When I burn, my ashes will set me free. Remember me.
Gucci.